the goalkeepers get, the more hesitant you become as a feeder, and that's what's happening a little bit. But good pass there from George. And good hold, Latu. Can she finish? Yes, she can. Naruto, she's just such a natural feeder, pretty to watch. And just such beautiful waiting on those balls that she puts to them guys. Right. Better stuff, Mystics. A little bit messy for the Magic, but Todd's used again and again. And now they're into the goal third, Naupu. And she just waited the three. Oh. Brilliant exchange. Pretty feisty down this end of the court, no doubt about that. Dean taking good, simple options. They've tried the high-risk ones. They didn't pay off. Now they're keeping it simple, the Mystics. Massive pressure, yeah. Casey Williams. Putting Dean off his shot. On the edge of the circle here, Nurse. Gives it to Medhurst. Aitken hasn't scored yet. And a miss. And the defensive rebound from Barake all over her. Nurse has gone down pretty heavy. She gets up quickly, though. Now Bell. Over the top, Von Berto. Combining so well. Bounce pass into Giddo. Her second. She nails it. Fascinating half it has been. Bell forced to throw it away. Losing her balance. This is where they can just absolutely torch you. Running in waves down the court. Leighton. A little late bump on Aitken. That's no difference. They just looked confident then when they turned and gave the ball. In the second quarter, they were just pleased. Um, you know, they came out and they, the Thunderbirds acquitted themselves really well. You know, but she did mention earlier she didn't want to see that 23 goal margin open up. And Hal Penny working with Bowden. Wilkins opens up. Quick double play. And the goal under the post. It's Tyree, it's open at Cox again. Quick ball from Tyree. And the skipper finishes off. Willie doing a great job as well. She's just started to put the squeeze on Will and put this stamp on the game. So it's up to both attacking lines in this quarter to regain, uh, I guess, the Mystics need a turnover. They've got to start eating into this deficit. Big play here for the visitors. Cox. To make things a little bit more difficult. Great shot from Catherine Cox. Oh, talk about turning over ball, Amy Wild. What an intercept from her. And again, Liz, two weeks in a row, when the opposition has charged, it has been Sonia McCloma that saved the day. And Kim Green, I think those two have been the, the two outstanding players for the Swifts today. Kim Green. Step up tonight and really make sure she's getting them whenever she gets that ball. But talking about step up. Good talking by Jabrain. Sylvia Rickett just a little bit slow to react. So the pass out to her. Again, that was awkward for Griffin. Just not finding both Whippy Eti and Griffin. Both quite tall and they are putting a lot more high balls into them, but just without the accuracy. Now, is that part of the problem? They are both quite tall and is the, is the fact that the problem has been there just hasn't been enough of them. The Pulse having 10 more attempts. Oceans of room for Thwaites on the run round. It's just the speed. It's a different type of speed that she provides um, to what the Steel are used to. Used to having Megan Dean there in the previous years. Sylvie Rickett on one leg. What an athlete, Leota. 